everyone to the Second Kingdom Council, um, where you come to hear about everyday issues from a kingdom perspective. Today, we're going to discuss nation building amongst our people. Um, how can we accomplish this? Is it true that we're crabs in a barrel? Uh, will it take a miracle to see us finally come together of one accord? Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Any thoughts on, um, you know, like what seems to be the um, rate limiting factor for us coming together to be a nation? Keep that first part. Oh, I was saying like, you know, what do y'all think is like the rate limiting factor for us coming together, being a nation, you know, like some people will say, oh, it's going to take the most high coming back dealing with us directly for that to happen. We're not in our own land, you know, lack of resources, lack of being on the same page. You know, what, what, do, how, what are y'all's thoughts on this? I definitely think lack of being on the same page is one of them. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people out here with great ideas and great intentions, but not so great execution especially because they want to do everything by themselves, but it's going to take, like, it takes a village and we already know that. So we just need to get to a place of where we're okay with not being the star and we're all just going to work together. I feel like that's a big part of it. Yeah, I can understand that. Sometimes I, oh yeah, go ahead. Where you oh no, just kind of, uh, just kind of piggybacking it. Um, it do seem like that. It do seems like the the whole notion, I guess, like we think, I guess, like this, it's all saturated. I was just having a conversation. Um, well, I guess I was at like a, a meetup, like a meetup and just us all believing that um, the market that we're trying to break in, into is just, it's it's too much, too many people or it's, it's already uh, overloaded or it's, you know, it's just crowded and there's no real breakthrough for the little guys that are actually trying to uh, come in. But I think that's a, a false narrative. I, I don't think that's that's true necessarily. Um, and I don't think we, I don't, I don't think we see enough execution and who's to say exactly why, but I think that's probably a part, it's, it's definitely a mindset thing. Speaking of mindsets, what do y'all think about the saying, you know, being crabs in a barrel? Mm. That's hear a good that book. A lot, right? Yeah, we do hear that a lot. Anyone read the book? No. <laughs> I haven't read the book, but that's definitely a mindset I see that we represent as a people. And that, you know, that comes from our history, having to, everyone having to fend for themselves and like every man for himself. You know, we don't have time to work for a team. I got to just make sure my people are straight, my family's straight. I got to make sure I'm straight. Like, I don't have time to worry about if y'all are straight. We're all trying to get out of this barrel. But what we failed to realize is why we were even placed in the barrel. Like, well, I was waiting to hear. I was. Well, I was waiting to hear why. <laughs> I was waiting to hear why. No. Uh, yeah. I mean. No. I think uh, a lot of it has to do with um, the mindset. So it's that, kind of static. All right. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> I think a lot of it has to do with um, the subconscious training um, or the subconscious manipulation. Uh, we don't look at each other as people that know how to be successful. We have, we see white people, Asians as successful people. So we don't typically lean on one another because we don't believe each other know how to make things happen after a certain peak. So we may have the ideas, but we don't have the ability. That's how we look at each other subconsciously. And so, you know, that's what I believe. Uh, does anyone kind of see us still kind of, I guess, a, a rebirth of this Jim Crow era? I guess I was just having a talk uh, with another good friend of mine on the podcast. And he was mentioning that, I guess, we haven't seen a, a pushback since the one we're in now, even to some extent, I guess, since the 60s. What do, what do y'all think about that? Like, do y'all think Jim Crow era is kind of 
still daunting on us? Do you think like we're still kind of a lack of motivation? Because I definitely think there's a a lack of motivation as far as um, a where to and, and a how to and even having like a, a big brother guidance. Like a lot of us, a lot of us don't have big brothers or big older sisters or maybe older siblings who we can look at as an example until we see someone on social media or um, another outlet or any type of anything that's not in the, it's not in the home, you know? So, so. I think for, uh, to kind of touch on that, I think a lot of it um, personally has to do with um, a, a multitude of things, but one being that there's a lot of handouts right now. And what I mean by that is you look at the stimulus, you look at the way that the county assists our people, and it's so easy to get the stimulus. It's so easy to get on the county and get money. It's so easy to, to get money in the effort. So a lot of that takes away, you know, the, the need to have to, you know, go out and get something and make something happen because everybody is looking for that quick buck. Like, well, I can always just sit on my butt and collect some money. I can always, you know, I got three kids, so the county will give me this much. Oh, I just got, you know, the stimulus. They give me this much per kid plus my tech. Like, there's all these ways. <laughs> there's all these ways for us to get money. So you know, it takes away. Go ahead. I agree with what you're saying. I wanted to touch on what John said. It could be something, well, probably I feel like it is some of the Jim Crow era. And I'm going to tell y'all a story. Well, not a story. I'll keep it brief. But there's a brother that I friended on LinkedIn. And the reason why I friended him, because I, he was very much where I am in terms of this COVID and you know everything that's going on with that. He shared a lot of the information that I share. So I felt like we were on the same page. And so I listened to one of his podcasts after you know a little while we were friends. And <laughs> yo, I shared uh brother Mooney's uh video when he was talking about everybody want to be black, but don't nobody want to be black. And it was so much this dude, like, I mean, I think he's a professional or whatever, looking at his baby. I believe the baby mama white. I could be wrong, but not saying that there's anything wrong with that. My mother is white. But what I'm saying is his whole response on the podcast was anti um melanin basically. Basically, he just said, like, you know, he, he named some statistics, basically stating that we are pretty much the worst people in the world essentially and how you know since the time has passed we've done nothing with you know the changes that have been made etc cetera, etc cetera. it 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 threw me off a bit i did respond a little bit but i know I, i'm in a different place than he is um so telling that story just to say that some of it comes from jim crow and some of it just comes from i don't know guess i guess what people experience with themselves. It just seems like overall, we have a lot of internal fighting and a lot of internal, I don't wanna say enemies, but you know what I'm saying, <laughs> enemies, you know, like it's still some, some beef with people that look like you, whether it's <laughs> what they do or just their mindset. Cause like I said, this dude was professional. I'm gonna send y'all the link and I mean, maybe you get something out of it. That yeah, I know, do you know his name? I mean, we, we might need that name. Oh, I do know <laughs> his name. Plus name. I don't even feel like saying the name. I'll low key share it to y'all <laughs> cause y'all part of the team. But I'm not, I mean, I did, I did cap cause cap is what I'm good at it. So yeah, I did after I sent the little thing with Paul Mooney, I did respond it like, I, don't, I can't tell because I just heard from a melanated brother just the other day and he doesn't seem like he wants to be black either. Cause you know, the whole point of, of Mooney's video was, you know, everybody's black, but don't nobody want to be black. So mm -hmm. I felt I was capping at him. He didn't even touch it. So I don't know whether he's seen it or not. And I, I because <laughs> of the fact I'm my own boss, I don't have to um 
like hold my tongue or, or play nice or whatever. Only reason I'm even there is just because I'm not at Facebook no more and I do a lot in social media. So I'm gonna, gonna send I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you the, yeah, I'm gonna send y'all the name. I'm gonna send you the name. I want you to just listen to the podcast. Hopefully, you know, you won't be motivated to call him, which I mean it doesn't seem like he would care anyhow if you did or if I did, because he was just, very yeah. He said, and I don't even know it. I need to, I'm gonna look since you wanna push me on it. Hey, hey, for the people, not for me, for the people. Let me maybe they might know. But you raised a good point when you were talking, like you said, you and you and the guy are in different places. And I feel like a lot of us are in different places, like that it's hard for us to get on the same page because some of us know who we are, some of us don't, some of us believe in one thing, believe another thing, and we will nitpick until you know the cows come home. And it's like, can we all just you know get centralized around one goal one thing, yeah put our differences and aside for the moment you know and because most people in this in this place uh, to be honest with you the only people that really co-sign on a lot of the facts that i share they're white people that are like saying no you're not sh- shooting me with up with this fake vaccine a lot of them understand that it is gene therapy etc cetera, etc cetera, and so they don't have a problem like yo whatever it's no 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 so he did that as well. So I felt like, oh, okay, try. <laughs> yeah, but no, you could, you somebody could be tried with you, but not really. Right. Like, like maybe mm-hmm. agree on certain mm-hmm. things, but not really. Cause like I didn't even want to touch it, but he just blew my mind. And I listened to the podcast. Wait, question, question. Mm-hmm. Do we have to always agree in the community as a tribe or? Is it okay to give, to, or is it okay to agree to disagree? And it should be right. It should be. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like yeah. I feel like, things. <laughs> I feel like if you don't have disagreements, then you're not really making any progress. Mm-hmm. Yes, so, I agree with that. But I think that's inevitable. <laughs> but. But no, yeah, some things are out. Our disagreement so. was so far left. It was like, oh, shit. yeah, yeah, no. Some things, some things are outlandish. <laughs> so yeah, that was, to me, I felt like that was. That's exactly it. Outlandish. Yeah. That's how I felt. Yeah, but if it's but a I'm, disagreement, that's like improve. If it's yeah, if it's a disagreement leading mm-hmm. to the betterment of getting to the same result, then yes. let's hash it out. Yes. But if you're disagreeing and saying stuff that doesn't even make sense, which is contradictory to even who you are as a person. What are you talking about? And sometimes you could agree mm. with certain things, but not with everything. And and maybe that doesn't. And again, that's just me. I have my own issues or whatever. And I definitely, because there's been people online that I've, I, I actually appreciate that because somebody, a white boy called me out because I'm mm. real specific on this um thing that's going on now or whatever and I know there are alternate ways I feel like you know whatever it's a derivative of a cold or whatever but he called me out and he was just like yeah okay well you know I I respect how you feel he didn't do it disrespectfully at all and that made me feel I was happy about that because that made me think about don't don't be so aggressive because maybe there are people that are experiencing a different reality than you are. Mm. So, you know, he just called me out pleasantly without really making us have a fight or whatever. And I, that really touched me. And, I, and I've shut up a little bit since he did that. <laughs> I, I'm still going to share facts, but I'm not as aggressive, just pretty much like, Goofy, stop listening to the TV spells. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little mm-hmm. extreme with it, but... He did call me out. He was like, yo, I was sicker than I've ever been my entire life. And you know, it just made me feel like, yo, it made me feel bad because I didn't want to hurt you nor did I want to minimize your pain. Um, I just, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of facts that people don't, they're missing. I don't know, so. so and some right. people will be like passionately against like something you, you might think uh, um, that's in opposition to something they say and they mm-hmm. are, so emotionally caught up in what they believe that they can't hear the other person. And it's like, is our, did our society bring this out of us? You know, is it something specific to our people where it's like, you know, 
that we have to react that way, you know? Can, may I, I can, can I jump on this bandwagon? Comes oh, go ahead, you got it. I think a lot of it comes from, you look at how social media has been set up and you look at the media in general and everything is about the influencers, uh, influencers. everything is about, um, you know, these, like these clicks per se. So you have like the feminist movement, the gay movement, things like yeah. that, right? Everybody wants you to be or believe what they want you to believe in order for you to be considered right. Yeah. And nobody cares to hear anybody else's side of things or to, you know, as John, you know, uh, alluded to earlier, agree to disagree. Because ultimately we can all, you know, be heading for the same thing, for the same goals, for the, you know, whatever. But yeah. Not every single stop along the way are we going to agree on, but ultimately mm -hmm. we're all trying to get to the same place, equality, fairness, just, you know, justice, things like that. But I may not take the same exact route you take to get there. And I think that's a big problem. And then you see these influencers that people are obviously trying to mimic the, and depending on what click you, you're with, yeah. You're going to try to side with that click and you believe as an individual, you know what, in order for me to be right or to have any type of power or strength and, in, in, you know, mm -hmm. um, I have to click up. So I have to go ahead and believe everything that this click is saying, you know. Mm -hmm. So I believe that has a lot to do with it as well, because nobody wants yeah. to agree to disagree. They just feel like, look, this is what we want and this is how we want it done. And in order for you to get there, you have to join our team. If you don't believe what we believe, then you're against us. And that's false, but ultimately that's how things are, um, how they're put out there. In general. And today with council culture, right. it's even worse. Like oh, if yeah. you don't want to stand yeah. out, yeah. it's just going to erase you, mm -hmm. you know? Good gracious, yes. I mean, definitely touching on, or piggybacking off for Jamel, what he mentioned, as far as like how we're marketing to, like, man that's definitely like today the present and then i'm just i just right now i'm just caught up on the jim crow era because a lot of it i think is still embedded in as far as like how we're marketing to maybe y'all seen it like as far as like oh the negro wants the best the negro uh wants to feel higher or doesn't want to even live amongst other negroes he wants to live where the whites uh live keeping up with the Joneses. And we see a lot of keeping up with the Joneses today when there is probably no need to. I mean, that's probably like the biggest factor, like, you know, yeah. uh, riding the wave or clout chasing, you know, it's like so big and so, so, so like, we see it a lot in rap culture. We see it a lot with, with entertainment so much to where it, it's just, causing more separation as far as unity it's it's it seems to be dividing us if not more than kind of bringing us together as far as something like we all love yeah. i hate to even say it since i'm also contrary to what y'all all sounded like peace and love and kumbaya or whatever but mm -hmm. <laughs> some the people just ain't on the same <laughs> bus as me that's all i'm saying i, I mean like this brother, I'm finna send y'all the email message. I still ain't gonna say his name. If y'all wanna say it, then say it. I'm gonna send you the stream. <laughs> but like, we not on this, we, we won't be on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just won't. Yeah, we're, we're there in terms of the health crisis or whatever, but. And then, I mean, he threw some thing, you know, some facts that, yeah, you know, some people we just not gonna be <laughs> on the same page with, I feel. You know, and that's I mean? all. Not everybody. But I, but I think that's people. okay, though. I don't. I, I. I. still believe that's okay, though. If, yeah, that's okay. Only, yeah. If you only agree on certain parts, then that's just where you guys end to begin. Yeah, that's what I said. Leave yeah, room for more dialogue. And there. I shared. And he still said since I said that, I still haven't responded. I did type it up, but then I didn't send anything out. But since then, I mean, I've shared a couple of his posts. Because the thing that I friended him for is the thing that is the most important to me at this time, that you are aware of all of this with the um, in the health field and whatnot, and you shared facts as well. Like he just shared something, oh, 
So we do all, you can find every conspiracy theorist in the world, but you can't find any, you can't shut down these pedophiles. You know, he, 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 I mean, you know, it's, you're right. Like you said, uh, certain areas we could, we will be all right in, I guess, not a hundred percent, just cause we're not, maybe not catching the same, we're not going to the same location, maybe. I don't even know how to phrase that, but yeah, I still, we have some things that we agree about, just not Please one say. of the big things. Yeah, ultimately, yeah. I just look at it from this standpoint. Um, and this is just uh, speaking, you know, particularly about your issue mm -hmm. with the gentleman that you're emailing. Mm -hmm. um, I believe, you know, and this kind of goes with everything, but you're not going to use a plumber to do, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. a gardener's job. Like you guys agree on the plumbing, how you want things done, but obviously he's not going to see oh, yeah. eye to eye with what you want done with the garden. Like yeah. that's just not his thing. You guys can't agree on that. So at the end of the day, you just work with him for what, whatever. Yeah. Is on that particular yep. aspect yeah everything else just contract with somebody else you know yeah and, and i'm not even contracting with him we haven't made any money and together and probably won't and that isn't you know like i said i met him on on linkedin and yeah like that probably won't even happen but uh you're right it's just a matter you know you just got to kind of leave it where it's at okay i'm pasting these messages to you and then it has the link you could look at them or not and i mean he has some some facts um the chip okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> analogy jamel when you're talking about yeah. and a plumber yeah. yeah that was nice well in our that society nice. <laughs> is, it a, is it a problem that you know a lot of celebrities are the ones that are speaking for our people and they're not you know, historians, they're not like, um, they're not learned. Or if they are, they're not showing that they are. So that is also doing a disservice to our people coming together and building a nation. I think like, you know, it's nice mm -hmm. that we have athletes that we can look up to, but where are our elders? Yeah. And I think an issue with that comes to, we're looking to them and yeah. they're I mean, puppets. Like, can we just be real about that? Yeah, you're no, I was you're gonna say, we're looking for them to provide something for you or to give you guidance on how you should move. And mm -hmm. that's not even the same arena. They're they're fulfilling things that people are telling them to do. So mm -hmm. it can be pushed to us. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that's what they are. That's their job. Like right. that's what celebrity is. Mm -hmm. And so we can't get caught up in, oh, well, they said to vote for this person or they got this vaccine. We should trust and it's they it. Their reality like, is different than most of ours. Like, they're okay. six figures. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They're, their reality is different. They make their money in media. So that's going to determine a lot of what they're even able to say. So I totally agree with that. They make their money pushing messages and agendas that other people tell them to do. Mm -hmm. So that's not even someone we should be looking for for help on nation building. Exactly. Y'all are building your own thing without us. So, so then because we don't have, you know, a unifying group of people, we see all these different outcroppings of, you know, people doing things on their own. Like we have our settlement in Demona, for instance, and other places like in Tanzania and Ghana and all these other groups that are just getting together and going about their own way, but it is not doing anything collectively for all of our people. And that's why, honestly, I hate to be the one to even say this, because I don't want to diminish any work that anyone is doing but that's why that's why things aren't happening the way they want yeah like yeah. the most high is like listen y'all are trying to do it everybody for that's themselves and that's not what i told y'all to do mm -hmm. so it's not going to work right <laughs> um, too, right like you know we we're in a society where it teaches you you got to go out and get it you have to make your own moves but the most high says you you follow what i tell you and we have to get into that mode too. It's easy like in your day-to-day -day life to get up and say, what do I want to do today? But start yeah. with asking what is the most high calling today? Yeah. yeah. Question, question. How do like morale for, you know, going to church and or, or you know, giving worship or going to a mosque or however you, you know, you know, give thanks unto thee, you know, a lot of that, at least personally, I feel like 
a lot of my emotion, of my spiritual emotion was daunting. During COVID, it, it made it like so hard. I had to reach out in a lot of different ways. But I mean, what's what's some ways for people out there to like, you know, boost boost that morale? Because I mean, like, it, it can be a little bit of a struggle, especially like for the youth or because like a lot of churches aren't still going on. And can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I was just okay. to Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it just a lot of the motivation that you know that to give thanks is is kind of down. Or am, am I the only one? I feel like it starts with like I don't know because I have my own thoughts on what even all this is right now anyway personally mm-hmm. I feel like this is a judgment from the most high say it. like listen the world okay, y'all have been tripping that. out here y'all have been real tripping real. out here this is the start of my wrath period that part yep and so that's what this is and the only way you're gonna make it through it is if you return back to what I'm saying like that's all you got to do and but we're so stuck on doing it our way my way like but no, that's why it's not working. Like, that's why it's not for real. Like, and it's not going to. So I think one thing for me, like during the pandemic, um, because honestly, just out of transparency, I didn't um, become aware of the truth until after the pandemic, it was like, like May or June, I think, mm-hmm. when I became like aware of really what's going on out here. But that's because I actually, I actually had it in myself to, to want to know more, look, to yeah. want that knowledge. You know, I had to, I was real with that. I was like, you know what, Father, whatever you want me to know, I want to know. But I want you to know, I'm for real about knowing it. Like, whatever yeah. I got to do to be tapped in with you, I'm ready to do it. People don't want to tap in. Like, they don't have that relationship. And that's why they're not progressing anywhere. Because it's all transactional. Like, no, you have to have a relationship with him if you mm-hmm. want him to continue blessing you. Like, I agree with that, man. I think my faith is what made it uh, that let me come through. You know what I'm saying? Like the, I had, yeah. I'm a conspiracy scientist, so I've been heard about all this years before they even. She didn't say theories. She said science. Science. This is science. Yeah, for real. Yeah. This is. Yeah. And so that saying all that just to say that, like my faith. I'm I'm an only child. I don't have much family. I was, you know, when I was married, I had that family. But once I left that situation, that fell by the wayside. And uh, yeah, y'all, y'all is. Y'all's the big homie. Like, I just, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I feel bulletproof because, like, I live a righteous life. I try to follow the rules with the word, and I'm not perfect, but, like, if I, God on your side, who could be against you? I'm so feeling bulletproof, too. It's true. <laughs> yes. It's so true. Yes. And that's a fact. Like, I definitely relate to that. Like, I, I feel like untouchable. Like, nothing is going to, no, I don't worry about things. Like, that's another and thing. And I don't care if it do come. Exactly. That's the thing that comes with that faith. Like you don't have to worry about things because it's already handled for me anyway. That part. There yeah. we go. I just gotta show up. I already won. Yeah. I really just have to show up. Seriously. That's it. And that just I don't know. I hope that everybody comes to the awareness, you know, wherever they're at in their journey of faith or whatever, because that's like one person like that you could trust. You know what I'm saying? It's like God's like the one person whose who's, who's word stays true. And he's, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. So the faith was definitely a blessing for me. I just sent y'all a, um, some information. Once we get to something else, we could talk about it if y'all care. But yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, where did he go? He dropped off. Yeah, it looks like he dropped off. Well, you guys, we're hitting our mark. So any last, any final words on nation building? We're off to a good start. I think we continue, right? Yeah. Nessa, hey girl.